Farfic Nugan. You guys hurt. I'm not cool with that. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I can kill one of you guys faster than you can kill me. Oh, I have another spell. Get up, 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 get up. I will have to do something with that. Alright, need to heal before I die. Need to heal badly. Ha ha! You can't stumble me! Yeah. Because I used the buff. Suck it. Okay. Now. That's right. I have like 5 billion potions. I should probably be utilizing them. Maybe. <sighs> Blargity. Okay. Totems. 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 At least it actually automatically updates and I don't have to immediately run back and then take the quest and then do it again. Like I had to god knows how many years ago. And it's a good thing these guys aren't actually... What's the word here? Didn't these guys used to be elites? <laughs> Stop feeding her so much you can fit through places like that. Yeah, I know, right? I'm horrible. She's become a total blood. What is that? I don't think that's the right word. Hang on a second. Yeah, this is like. Oops. Chains. Booming smash. I need to put that somewhere. Oh, hey! Hi, booming smash. How are you? that that's didn't that used to be from something else though like it used to be oh I remember it used to be booming strike then booming smash and then booming assault now it's actually these that's that's gonna make my brain hurt all right cool no it's not what I wanted to do all right Beat the shit out of him with a giant mallet. This actually is the fastest way to do this. Shame there are no weapon skill ups. Or else this would actually be useful in some fashion or another. Do I not have a shield for her? I don't have a shield for her. What the hell is wrong with me? That's odd. Don't attack me. Damn it, that's the opposite of don't attack me. Fine, whatever. That was not at all worth that ability. What the hell? It was a 20 second cooldown? Oh, it's a movement speed decrease. Oh, I understand now. I get it. I get it now. Okay, well, that explains a lot then. Oh, hi, I still have the wrong weapon attached. That's gnarly. Where else am I going? Here? Oh yeah, there's a map down at the bottom. I knew that. Alright, Mr. Veteran, look, look. You guys need to casually die, please. So I can survive. Nerf hammer? I don't... It, it does have a sort of nerf-like quality to it, I, I admit. Having said that, I do like I do like Hammer of Justice. Or as the Horde always called it, the Hammer of GG. I always thought that was particularly amusing. Okay, so... Hammer of GG, activate! Oh, this one is more like a sledgehammer than anything, isn't it? I'm not using it for anything useful, I'm just beating the crap out of something. Interesting story, yesterday at work I was, um, 
Well, actually, I got to watch somebody else do it, but uh, we used a pickaxe to tear apart a, uh, a desk. That was pretty sweet. We've been telling our corporate office for months that we actually needed some kind of like specialized dumpster to throw this thing away. They're like, well, don't worry, you know, you can figure out a way to deal with it. As we're sitting in the back of our store, just chilling for like two months. And then eventually when the landlord was like, so um, if you don't get that thing removed by the end of the week, we may just default on your, uh, you're actually being at this establishment. We're like, all right, time to bust out the pickaxe. That was very fun. Let's just put it that way. I'm not very good at it, at all. You know, I, I've come to the conclusion that I am a very scrawny, weak person that is not very well equipped for demolishing, like, a ten-foot desk. But it's fun as hell to try. And it's really fun to see somebody basically use a pickaxe like a baseball bat and take giant chunks out of a uh, from micro panel. That was pretty awesome. Ha ah, ah. ha. I have my Healy Healy's. Screw you, pal. But that was my story about how work went yesterday. It was fun. It was the pickaxe of GG. I do not require that. Yeah, they, they had to have nerfed the difficulty of these guys, because I distinctly remember these things being needing a large, a large group of people to actually do anything with. Okay, I killed two totems. Where's the third? There's the third. Where the hell do I get? Where the hell? Can I reach it from? Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? No, I was so close. Ah, oh, you suck, gravity. That's fine. There's another one over here, I guess. Somewhere there you are, Miss America. Okay. Stupid spell shifters. You cannot stand by my might. Well, that's not really, you know, demolishing a uh, desk is not necessarily what I do, and that was not something we actually wanted to do. I assure you, because it was like 95 degrees out and the sun was sitting right on top. Well, maybe not sitting right on top of us, literally, but it was like, you know, like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 95 degrees out, really freaking hot, and it took probably about an hour to demolish the thing. Uh, starting to get all the other remaining trash out, among other things, because unfortunately our back area like that becomes a repository for being like, Hey! Hey, skateboarders! Let's go grab a bunch of natty ice and just skateboard behind the store for like two hours. They actually said that earlier, uh, I actually saw the skateboarders as I was checking for something, and they were like, are we getting kicked out? They're like, I said, no, you be fine, just don't go on the- Jesus Christ, that sound. Thank you, Joshua56207, for the follow. I, I very much appreciate that. But the skateboarders, that they're there, like, every other day, and we usually have to kick them out because they try to get on the roof like dumbasses. They're like, so, are we getting kicked out? I'm like, no, you're fine, just don't go on the roof. They're like, okay, thank you, ma'am. You have a good day. I'm like, uh-huh, that's fine, just don't go on the roof, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care, just don't get on the effing roof. Because I don't want you to die, and then I can get sued. So, you just, just don't give a shit, just don't bother me. Hi! Hello, random people on the internet, how are you doing today? Where am I running? That's where I'm running, I knew that. Now. I completely forgot I had that, that follow sound effect, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Scare the shit out of me. Hi, Spell Sifter, Ajiba. Please don't attack me. You're gonna attack me. Yep, there you go. Please don't sleep me. That is a painful spell. So I'm going to fly away as fast as humanly possible. I guess in my case, float away as fast as humanly possible. Because despite being a game about wings, flying is something that's more uncommon than not. Oh, uh, really, dude? That's how you want to roll, really? Slow your roll, pimpin. Screw you, pal. Stop being dicks. Thank you. I have no desire to kill you guys, so I'm just gonna let the other guys beat the shit out of you. 
if that's okay. Now the other sleek paw. Okay, I'm bored. You guys are doing this too slow. That's what happens when you auto attack. See, look at that. Easy. It's like nothing. Quiet. The now lurk nearby. Get no shit. Did you find my cue? Here it is. Things are still in it. Please take this. Yada yada yada. Don't. But um, something's missing, isn't it? Our emergency provisions. The most important thing. Emergency provisions will starve. Fuck it. I don't care that much. Make it quick. I had my doubts that we'd actually succeed, but give it that. Ba 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 ba. Give me the shaman staff. The Delalant. I congratulate you on your success. You showed Asmodee's strength today. You were bold, clever, and tenacious on the field of battle. I beat the shit out of something with a stick. Yep. Yoink. Hey, cool. I dinged. Yay. What did I get? Oh, God. Spells! Oh, lordy Jesus. Oh, I already have all of those. Oh, fuck. Shit. Okay. Well, that's significantly less amusing than normal. Oh, hey. That's where the other... Oh, I went the wrong way. Alright, that's pretty neat. Let me go to the observatory really quick. Thank you! Thank you for the grats. Are you... Are you rare? Can I kill you? Because I'm going to. Shama Lama Ding Dong. I realize that it's part of the lore, but I still do. Jane, you offered me nothing. You suck. You were not of use to me. But even though I understand that it's supposed to be about, you know, Deva's, uh, Elios, Asmodee, all that kind of stuff, I really do wish you were able to play, like, Mao and Shugo. And the, the crawl and all that kind of stuff. That would be so freaking awesome. And you can't say it wouldn't be. It would be the neatest stuff ever. Stop slowing me, butt nuggets. I would be ever so appreciative if you stopped being a dick about things. I hate these birds. The boids. I do miss Wells BGs sometimes. I don't. <laughs> I had enough of BGs to last me a lifetime through Burning Crusade. Because that's exclusively how I geared one of my characters. I got her the entirety of Season 1. Just do nothing but grinding BGs, and by the time I was done with it, I was just like, I don't care anymore. I never wanted to look at another battleground again. I mean, I did afterwards, kind of casually here and there, but I was just like, no, I can't. I just... It makes me mad. It makes me rage. Have you been there are some glory days, I admit, that I miss, but I don't... Generally speaking, to just jump in for the sake of jumping in? No, not really. It makes me too angry. It's not worth it. As for Lumbra. The permission is... Okay, do you guys have anything of use to me, or am May I just gonna head back? Grant you peace. Monster in a box, huh? That sounds like a fun little toy. Monster in a box. From Namco. No. No, it's not Namco. Is it Namco? No, it's not Namco. Who is the one? Day, isn't it? Hybo? I can't think of the name. Hairbo? Something like that? Beautiful day, isn't it? Fuck, what is the name of the... Oh my god, brain, why do you not work? What is the name of the company? Hasbro! Hasbro, B? Monster in a box. Now from Hasbro. Can I go over there? That's pretty. I want to go over there. Is there an invisible wall that's going to cause me to die an unceremonious death? I would be very sad. I'm this kind of dumbass. And I'm like, oh look! Unused terrain! I have to go see it. For no other reason than just because I kind of can, really. And it's pretty nifty that I, I doubt what happens now. Look how pretty that is. Pretty! 
But I know that way back in the day, back in like 2009 when the game came out, they didn't really have like invisible walls around this area. And the whole like, hey, you're walking underwater, you're going to die effect, the trigger for it didn't go out as far as you would expect it to go out. So after a certain period of time, if you got clever with it, or, you know, in my case, if you were a chanter that had a whole shitload of potions, you could actually survive past that fatigue point, and then you can basically just run on the water to pretty much wherever you wanted to go. I remember doing that once in... I think it was with an Elios character, and I somehow wound up underneath Sanctum. It was really weird. Really cool. I wish I'd taken a picture of it, but it was very strange. No! Yes! Thank you, based winds. Thank you, based wind effects. I wanna see where you go, hey! Do I get water damage, or am I too far out? Like this, see? I'm so far out that it doesn't actually have... Hey, you're taking damage underwater! Because it doesn't expect you to go over here. It expects you to try and run, hit that water... Hit this immediate water barrier right here, take damage or die, and then turn back. It doesn't expect you to get this far out. So you're just like, wee. You can't really swim under here. I mean, you can't really fly under here for obvious reasons. But you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want. Without damage. And fear of retribution. Now, they may have actually added invisible walls this time. I don't know. They didn't have them before. And I remember getting... I was able to get, like, way the hell up here on the map somewhere. Before, it was just, it just, basically the map just ended and everything dropped off and I wasn't crazy enough to try and see uh, what was there because despite being underwater, you still do take fall damage. <laughs> that is still a very real mechanic, so you do have that limitation. Hold your breath. Yep, like that. You still take fall damage, so you have to be careful. I love the, the coding in this game. I love the fact that they, they kind of had minor oversights when it comes to stuff like this. Whoa. Weird water effects. Is this where the map ended? I think this is where the map ended. It's just a, a drop off into oblivion. And you can't fly because you're underwater. And they do have that. Whoa! Cool. Now I'm kind of curious if I actually can get down there. Can I survive that fall? I wonder. Let's find out. Ha! -ha! I survived. Now the question is can I fucking get out? This is weirding me out a lot more than you guys think it is. It's not to say I have a phobia of water, strictly. Or necessarily a phobia of deep water, but I have like a weird phobia of deep water. Which is hilarious because Vashir is like one of my favorite. Oh! Found the invisible wall. Looks like they added one this time. They added an invisible wall, guys. That's sad. Can I actually get up here now? Hmm. But yeah, the whole like deep water thing, just the sound of the blub 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 And I'm just kinda like, okay. Well, I'm gonna die a horrible, painful death, and there will be nobody to hear my screams because I will be 50 feet under the water drowning. Yay. I'm gonna have to pour it out. Good thing I didn't use it already. But I love the fact that something like this is still in the game. That they not necessarily have the oversight, but... But yeah, the total oversight allows you to do little exploration things like this. It does absolutely nothing whatsoever, but it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. It's pretty nifty. And you can do that for pretty much every zone in the game. I remember when Warhammer Online was still a thing. Um, and I think they changed it. And I, I had a video at some point, and I, I, I must have deleted it or something. But I actually had made a video on Warhammer Online where I actually did nothing but do that sort of, like, exploration into- I think they called it, like, dangerous territory or something like that. They didn't really have- they had invisible walls in certain areas, but not- but not everywhere. 
and particularly for some reason around like the zone lines around the portals to different areas they would have invisible walls directly around the the um around the portal itself but if you just kind of like circumvented like if you went around a corner you could actually circumvent the wall almost instantly and you can basically run for hours around this this huge report. unused zone it was actually very strange and very cool hmm Meh, I'll just sell it. Yay, totem plowed! Woo! Poison in the waters, what the hell is this? I will do you later. Actually, you know what? No. I would like to finish up. Because I'm an idiot. I would like to finish up this quest. Head, go to Moomoo Village. Wish I had paid attention to that. Alright. Well, actually, strictly speaking, there's plenty of way to escape destiny if you just don't accept the quest. That needs to be on a shirt somewhere. No escaping destiny? Sure there is, just don't accept the quest. Coming or going? Alright, go to Bassfelt Village, Safe get journeys. this quest, finish off all of my alt guard goodness. And then... I can move on to Morheim, Kalu Kalei, and shit. The nice thing about the leveling being so fast is that I can kind of pick and choose where I want to go and when I want to go there. Oh boy. Such beautiful landscapes. The summary effects really do make it a lot prettier than it was before. I'm so glad they added that in. Okay, now, where the hell am I going? Ouch. Don't kick the desk. Me. Moo Moo Village. Now, what the hell am I doing? Poison its fresh water source. Okay. Alrighty. I can do that. Oh, I see you. You're way the hell down there. Got it. Do that flappity flappity, please. I almost make you want to play the game again, huh? Hey, that is entirely up to you. Whether you want to play it or not, you know what I mean? Do what you enjoy. Do what makes you happy. I mean, you can you can live vicariously through my playing the game, too. That That's just as valid a, just a valid way of living. There are plenty of times I log on and I watch people fa play Final Fantasy XI just so I can absolve myself of the feeling of wanting to play it myself. Because I watch it and I'm like, oh man, that game is so awesome, I want to play it again. And then I see them sit there for about five or ten minutes, working their way through menus to, like, leave an area. Or, you know, all the different abilities and scrolls they have to use just to leave because, you know, like, transportation and mounts, well, chocobos exist, but, you know, all the different things that they have to do, and I'm like, okay, I've had my fill. I have definitely had my fill, so... I can get all the good without having to really deal with the bullshit bad. So hey, if I'm here to help you live vicariously the good times of Ion without having to deal with all the bullshit, that is what I am here for. Then my life will have had meaning something something dot jpeg. Autumnless. Now I'm poisoning something over here. Am I poisoning... Is there a particular place I need to drop this sucker? Okay. Did I just... Did I just fucking break the quest? Did I just break the quest? I mean, it let me use it. It's right the F here. Now, is there a way to, like, reload UI? Fuck. Did I just legit break the quest? Why would it let you use a fucking ability if, if it doesn't, like... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Alright. That was from an old quest. I don't know why I had it. Never mind. Don't know why I had it. 
I had it from the quest I got rid of. Never mind. All right, it's all good. There we go. All right, I understand now. What's up, dudes? How are you? I remember. I understand now. I know. I had one job, right? And amazingly enough, I still have it. Because I just don't know how to look through an inventory. I'm slick. I need to kill Black Wall Warriors. Black Wall Warriors. Nobody will get that joke because nobody understands what Running Warriors actually is. Possibly for the best. I remember loving that show dearly when I was like 10 or 11. I have no idea how it looks now. And I'm kind of preferring to keep it that way. By 10. Really? That's the fucking hunter's thing? It increases your physical defense by 10? That's it? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, I had this thing right here was freaking 10%. This is physical defense by 25, and that's goddamn passive for me. Y'all suck. Okay. I kill you. I kill you! Silence! I kill you! I'm basically a repertoire of random, like, internet memes and pop culture references that have no real bearing upon what I'm actually saying. It's pretty sweet. It's cool life. You get used to the way my mind works after a while. And if you do, by the way, you have my sincere condolences because you probably don't want to, my god. Thank you, whoever that may have been, for your follow. I, I, I didn't catch your name, I apologize. Uh... N3PTI. Thank you very much for your follow. Okay, let me bring up my display here so I can actually see stuff when it pops up on the screen. I didn't realize it was down. Now, do I need to kill you still? Am I done? Yay, I'm done. Fantastic. I'm running in the wrong direction. Why? Me. Damn it. Aha! I can use bind point traveling. I know what I'm doing. Oh, people I work with think I'm absolutely batshit crazy, but that's half the fun. I embrace the weirdness. Anybody can pretend to be normal. <laughs> this is 100% all natural. I actually said that to one of my co-workers and he's like, yeah, I, I'm, I don't doubt that for a second. I can, I can tell it's 100% all natural. I'm like, uh-huh. Exactly. Cha-ching! It's amazing. Alright, no gear. Don't need your goddamn stass. Actually, that's not bad. May I on watch you, as Felambra. Meh. I'll just freaking buy the staff so I can resell it. Hmm. Ooh, crit strike. I like crit strike. What can I put you on? Plus eight frozen staff with a bunch of crit strike. Woo! Good times. Okay. Now I can... Hmm. Get rid of the tunic. Really, I, I may as well just sell that because... Or I may as well just extract it. Nobody's gonna buy that on the... Uh, I can't... No, that's not what I... There we go. Nobody's gonna buy that. Though I could theoretically give it to an alt, but I don't really care that much. Besides, it's getting high time that I actually go back to- Well, actually, no, I can't go to the uh, trade broker because I already put everything up there. Nothing is sold yet. Damn it, me. Why don't you think ahead, me? You dongle horn. Okay. I know you sell food exclusively, Please. but can I sell you my random shit? Along with this stuff? Come back because apparently everybody 
is goddamn like I don't know junk swap N not junk swap um what do you call those things like a junk shop everybody's just like yeah I'll buy your end of shit for like a thousand kina that's cool I could like turn this into you know Safe journeys. a nice meal somehow people don't even know what the hell they're looking at they don't pay attention to what they're eating before they're eating it they won't notice that there's metal in here that pearl that'll go great with my potatoes <laughs> 